Mary and Stitches, it's Friday the 1st of February and this is video number 37. Hello and welcome. I hope you're all well. I hope my friends in the Midwest are staying warm and staying safe with all this, all those, that awful polar vortex. And to friends in Australia, I hope you're staying cool with the heat wave, which kind of seems a bit of an understatement. Um, so, and most of and out of everyone else, I hope you're all well and safe and have had a bit of time to stitch since, since my last video. Um, you know, when you go, it's been a busy fortnight, and you kind of think, actually, it hasn't particularly. It's just been, yeah. Um, Lottie's Young Voices concert was amazing. Um, if you missed my last video, Lottie was taking part in a concert with her school choir um, where they go to one of the big arenas in the UK and uh, nearest one is in Birmingham. Um, it's now called Resorts World. It changes its name back every two years with sponsorship. Um, anywho, uh, Lottie, along with 6,000 other children um, from various other schools, uh, take part in a concert called Young Voices. Um, it was amazing. They do, I think, is it 20, 22 concerts across the UK, um, each between four and 8,000 children at each concert. Lottie's concert had 6,639. Um, because they have, as we found out last year when my friend forgot her ticket and had to get, they have the name of every single child that is there um, for safety and security reasons. So, um, and that's the box office event kind of thing. So they know, um, because you can only get, it's hard to get tickets for it because you have to go through schools for safety and all that kind of thing. Um, anyway, amazing concert. Um, we were four rows from the front. Our children we could see just behind the stage. So we were four rows from the stage and Lottie's school were straight behind the stage um, upon start going into the elevated seating risers behind. Um, so basically they put the children in at one, one end of the arena in the risers around and um, then they have the stage and then parents are in the risers at the back and on the floor. Um, we had floor seats, four rows on the front. It was amazing. They sing folk songs, they sing medleys. They did uh, a medley about the weeks, um, it's like songs with weeks and things, or days of the week in. So they did like Manic Monday and Friday I'm In Love With You. Um, they do some folk songs often. Um, they did a Moana medley. Um, and they did a Greatest Showman medley. So they sing some amazing songs. Um, interestingly, the only one they struggled with, they sang a Michael Jackson song and that was the only one they weren't allowed to put on the practicing thing for, um, they had their own kind of website, which is kind of locked down. Only children have the passcode, the schools have a passcode to get on the website. Um, and then they can give that to the parents to let the children practice at home. And that was the only one they weren't allowed to put on the website. So um, every that's the only time I've ever known them had problems with anything. So it's an interesting kind of random thing there. Um, but it was amazing. They have singers from X Factor. Um, they had somebody from a band called Basement Jacks. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of those. I've heard of it. I couldn't name the song. Possibly I could, maybe. I don't know. And Tony Hadley of Spandau Ballet. Um, and he was amazing. He sang gold and the kids joined in. Um, Lottie loved it. Her now little comb to him. I waved at Tony Hadley and he waved at me. Um, apparently she was the only one around her waving so she knows it was for her. So she's like, yeah. Um, he sang yeah, gold, which was amazing. And then he sang true and got everybody with the camera, uh, the torch on the phone to do that. And, you know, in place of lighters. Um, and because we were sat and we could look back and it was amazing. Um, and then he sang a song off his new album, which was really good. And all of the singers, they had the two girls from X Factor, the Basement Jacks lady, whose name escapes me. She sang Rhythm Nation. She was fantastic. Um, and Tony Hadley all did parts of the Greatest Showman medley, um, which the kids just sang as well. Um, and what else? They have a dance crew there that kind of join in and... Oh, it's a, an amazing production. Loved every bit of it. Um, so super, super uh, pleased to have seen Lottie in that. Um, she did it last year. She'll do it next year, I'm sure. And she was very excited to find out that the high school do it too. Um, Tom was not interested in doing it when he got to high school because it's just not cool. Um, but uh, yeah, so their music teacher 
worked so hard with them to get everything ready for them because they have, you know, it's a two hour show. So um, you can imagine the, the number of songs they have to learn with dance moves. So dance moves. they're all in, you know, the tiered seating. So, you know, but they learn you know, if they're doing that or have to clap in places or whatever they have to, you know, they learn kind of stuff to go with it. So it was fantastic. Loved every minute of it. Minute of it. So, um, what else? Been to Ikea. New cupboard. So bottom half cupboard is full of my um, crafts. Well, not full of my craft. It, well, it's full. It has teeny, teeny, tiny amount of my craft stuff in it. Um, is that the best way of describing it? The cupboard is full of craft stuff, but it's only a teeny tiny amount of what I have. There we go. Um, so I managed to get my fabric and my threads, my box of random odds and ends um, in there, which probably needs sorting out again. Um, and what else have we got? Uh, hmm. I don't know. I can't think what's in there. Jewelry making things. Um, Uh, all my whips are in their box, in their kitted up box. Not my whips. My new starts for this year. Uh, whips have stayed in the footstool uh, along with my DMC. Stay? Stay? Let's see. Words. Anywho, it's all in there. I love it. I will be decorating it as the seasons allow. Um, I cannot wait to do it at Christmas, let's put it that way. Um, my basket. Just take two. My basket is on there. It is empty because I have nothing Valentine's Day. -y. So all the winter stuff's still up. Um, this will probably go on there though. So this is kind of starting to be an FFO. This is my Black Crook Lady by Leslie Tear that I finished last year. Um, I was getting my watch battery changed um, last week. This week, some point, some time in the. Anyway, and they had these. They had a reduced table. It's a frame shop predominantly, but they'd, they've always done watch batteries and watch straps and things like that. Um, started off life as a little tiny, uh, what was called the cabin. And it was, yeah, barely bigger than a shed in an arcade in the 80s. Um, and uh, when the arcade was redeveloped, they ended, they moved to where they are now and they're a proper frame shop and they do custom framing and um, I don't know if they've ever done needlework before, I've never been brave enough to try but at least I know I can get custom frames and custom mounts from there if I need them. Anywho, they do lots of pre-made frames of you know standard sizes but I, I happened to spot on their reduced table uh, a 4 by 10 and I was like, that's not going to be big enough for my blackwork lady. I'll go home, I'll measure, I'll come back. So I measured it, this is three and a half, well about three and three quarters by nine and a half Frame is ten, uh, four by ten. It's a pretty good fit to me. I would have liked maybe a five by eleven, but that, they didn't have that, so we're going with this for the time being because at least it means she's on display. So I won't. Um, I mean, uh, this isn't framed properly. She's literally shoved in the frame, which I did the other day just, just to see whether it would fit. Um, okay, you can see the tree outside now. There you go. That's what I keep looking at. Go ahead, catch that you're moving in my um, peripheral vision. So. I will complete, I will, however I finish off, I will use all the fabric. So should I find a, a better fit frame? I ideally wanted a black one, but a dark wood was the best I could get, or a, a gold, and it just wasn't the right. I might have gone silver if they'd had silver. Um, and I wasn't going down the route of painting it and stuff. Because knowing me, it'd look an absolute like, nightmare mess. So I'm just kind of like going, it's a dark wood frame. It works okay with it. I will... Um, it's got quite a dark kind of band there, so. Anywho, it just means that I'm probably going to put her on that shelf there. Um, uh, but uh, we'll pop her there for now. Anywho, so I'm pleased that she's finally out and framed, so I can at least say I've almost framed something in January. As well as going to Ikea, we also had a, because it involved a tip run as well, to get rid of um, an old cupboard and some odds and ends. Hubby emptied some boxes at the garage, which you know things are coming in, you know, an old TV box and things. And 
I was like, save me all the foam. I'm going to try a cube finish because I'm kind of a cheapskate and if I can reuse something like that, I will. So I've got loads of bits of foam that I'm going to try and do, cut and do a cube finish with. Um, my chosen victim, I think that's probably the best way of putting it, is my Michael Powell um, fancy air house. So I was hoping to have gotten that done this week but I haven't had time so um, watch this space for that one. Right, um, where are we going to go? So, so despite our busyness and, and you know going up to Ikea and spending a whole of last weekend building furniture and moving stuff around and putting stuff in cupboards and um, things like that, I have actually Stitch every day in January, even when we went to Ikea, I only managed four stitches because I've been at work all day. We did the school run and then went straight to Ikea in the evening, um, sort of four o'clock, and didn't get back till nine. And by the time we'd you know, done all the stuff and got in and like sat down, it was, I was like, I can barely sit stay awake. I'll do four stitches because at least I can say I've stitched. And that's what I did. Um, this week's been quite busy too. Um, Monday I had haircuts and I did a big food shop because couldn't fit it in any other time this week. So, um, we've done that. Last night Tom had, no, that Wednesday night Tom had, had the, we both had the dentist, which I'd forgotten about. And then we uh, had what Tom's option evening. So for his, um, what exams he'll take when he is 16. Um, they have to choose their, they choose their subjects in year nine and they study them in year 10 and year 11. Um, other than the core English, math, science, um, ethics and philosophy, and I've missed one. English, ma English, English, math, science, ethics and philosophy. Oh, they have to do PE, but they don't have to take the exam unless they choose to. Um, uh, what else? So he got, he chose history, um, iMedia, and art. So those are his chosen subjects so fingers crossed he gets those they get a sheet which basically says um these are your choices pick them and we go and we see the other teachers and we can ask about the courses and see whether they're a good fit and whether they think that tom would be okay on them um they they seem to be we were pleased we were went in very anxious thinking mm, is he going to get what he wants what he needs we spoke to the careers people. Oh, funny story, there you go. Um, we were speaking to one of the, they also have college, local colleges that come in and kind of, just so they can speak to and say, you know, this is what I want to do. Tom wants to do game design. Um, and we went into, and they happened to have the, what, what they call Heart of Worcestershire College. Everybody knows it as the tech, because it used to be the technical college. Um, uh, they did, uh, talking to a lady I noticed a little pin badge on that said resting stitch face and I was like love that badge and she's like I'm a cross stitcher so we had a couple of minutes chat and Andrew went oh my wife does YouTube and I was like well, yeah started to go rather red Tom's going oh I can't be talking to people so you know as the teenagers do um so you know yeah that was quite cool um yes Random side note. Uh, yeah, so I've completely lost my train of thought. So Wednesday was another busy evening. Um, it's been like that. So my stitching's been kind of, I have stitched every day, but let's just say it took me four days to stitch a cloud and I'll show you the cloud in a minute. So first up, let's go with my Lizzie Kate February stamp. I've picked this, I started this on um, oh, come on, Kerry. Uh, no. I started this a few days ago. I'd reached a natural stopping point on Main Street and decided that let's get this started. Because as I've my chosen... Bus projects are best done on Ada, just because it's easiest to stitch on Ada when travelling. Um, certainly on buses. And... Yeah, there we go. So that's where I'm at with February. I'm stitching it in Jodry Designs threads. As you can see, I've just started a little bit of the border there. That was Wednesday's stitching. Um, 
you can tell because Tuesday night we didn't have anything on and I managed to get three sides of the border done, the border across and the whole of February done. There we go. Um, so um, I am stitching, so I've started the outline for the heart as well there. I'm stitching this in Jodry threads, so that's what it looks like. Um, I'm, it's, I'm even using one of the called for DMC, which is just for the little leaves in the flowers. Cook them. So my Jodrys are, the border is salsa. The heart, the light pink and the flowers will be done in this one, which I forget what it's called. Oh, it's got a bit of green attached to it. The, let's have a pull a card out for it. it. That is salamander, there we go. And then the, ignore the green attached to it. So the grey pink is Princess Carrie or Kari. Somebody I'm sure can tell me where that's from, which is going to be the background of February. And then I have the dark red is that one, and that is Ruby Slippers. So I shall take this to judo with me tomorrow morning and hopefully get a bit of stitching on. I took it last week and friends, of, we didn't know, well, sorry. We didn't realise that our friend's daughter was starting. Um... So we spent the entire time talking to them. So didn't get any stitching done. I was a bit kind of like, ah. But hey ho, I did stitch for an hour in the pub so, uh, on Monday after school. Well, whilst I was waiting for Lottie to finish her club. So that was good. Um, Main Street. I love this. And I'm going to have to change the bag that it's in because it is so full. And I'm going to put it in my Daphne bag because it needs a special bag because I love Main Street. So... When you last saw me, I was stitching on. Uh, when you last saw me, I was stitching on the bookstore. I'm not taking these out of the bag because they're all carefully, uh, they're all in order, all arranged, and I'll end up dropping the lot. Um, so Main Street Bookstore was going to become Dosis Market. If you've missed my last couple of uh, videos or. Um, and every time, other time that I've shown this, um, I am doing a Gilmore Girls conversion um, from the TV show. So I am stitching it all. I am keeping the order that the houses were in, the, the, uh, Country Cottage designed. Um, each one will have a little nod to it. So it won't necessarily be where you would expect. So the soda shop won't be next to Luke's, but you know, it was the houses have had better placement if they're kept where they are. And I'm just changing little on things so they have a little nod to them so some of them will be really really obvious changes um luke's diner i'm coming for you um others will be a little tiny bit here or there or might not be too you know completely obvious so for example when i did the flower store which is when i finished ages ago all i did was change the flower colors to yellows for a thousand yellow daisies um so i have finished Let's do, oh that works. I have finished the bookstore which has become Dosi's Market. So rather than putting books in the windows, I just made them sash windows by putting just putting cream in. Um, I'm trying to keep my colour changes within the colour palette that Country Cottage Needleworks designed with. Um, I did have to, have to add a cream in to do this, but I think that works okay. I charted a Dosi's Market sign um, in Dosi's colours, but picked... Um, using the colour palette and then just putting a few things in the window boxes or whatever and there's a poster in the door window I think I changed the door style to be more of a glass paned door rather than um, the small paned one that it was charted with I put in the I moved the fruit and veg stand from outside um, there's a grocery store um, on one of the other ones and I moved just move that because they do have gross they do have the fruit things outside although I think I should have done it in green because that's what they're in but I don't mind it being in brown it's fine it works well and then so then I moved on to the gazebo now anybody who has ever watched Gilmore Girls will know that the gazebo is really important it's kind of 
it's the it's in the town square it's probably in every episode so there we go so um the chart starts is there so the chart was that one oh there's too many hands here so it did have pink flowers down the side but i took those both off um and moved the bird so as you can see i have charted the star's hollow sign um it's a bit scrappy but it works um I did the best I could get them so I could get Stars Hollow written on it. That's the cloud that took me four days. Um, I put a little picnic basket there as a nod to that episode. And um, a tisket, a tasket is the episode. And pumpkins on, on a hay bale because it's Stars Hollow and there's pretty often, you know, if it's not snowing, there's pumpkins on hay bales. Um, next up is what's called, what is charted to be a coffee shop Ugh. there we go is that one I am going to turn it into the soda shop so the only thing I am doing is changing the window so um, because I think oh, if I remember rightly all the colors work out really well and um, and I'll take out the picket fence as well because I took out the picket fence on the bookstore so otherwise it'll be a bit unbalanced um, I might see if I can th come up with something that I can kind of slot in there. Don't ask me what yet, but um, yeah. So I'm not sure what we'll put in there, but we'll find something. I might just do another hay bale or something like that just to kind of put two in. So yes, I've played with my hair and apparently that's one of the big no-nos for stitching if you've watched one of kitten stitches recently recent video she hasn't said that people said that but my video my rules anyway so that's that so plans for i'm just having a quick look round. yeah plans for 20, 2019 well we've done that video plans for february uh stitch the flip it stamp for february and start march but I can talk about that in my next video. Do that. And then I'm going to pick one other whip and just see what I can get done. I don't know which one. I'm kind of torn between two. I've got two that kind of keep bouncing into my head. Um, I've done really well with Stitch from Stash this month. And um, I kind of want to keep... So I've had two Main Street finishes. Um flip it stamp and I have my merry string finish and that kind of gave that gave me 28 pounds so and I've no expenditure win month this month so at least my maths is going to be easy this month um well for the January check-in I want to try and hit about 20 pounds every month for my credits um because I have a target of well 20 that's going to be 120 plus any extra that I don't spend. I'd love to hit 200. That would be my that that is kind of my ultimate goal. I don't think I would get that unless I get some big finishes, and I don't know whether I'd get big finishes in this year, uh, uh, this half. Anyway, I kind of I'm torn between going back to where there are bees, or I kind of quite fancy stitching on. Um, I quite fancy getting out cross stitch nation. But it's whether I want to stitch on the same fabric because um, witch outs, water lily, and whatever the called for is on Main Street. Star Sapphire, but who, who makes it? I don't know who makes Star Sapphire. Okay, it's Witch Out Star Sapphire. I thought it was Witch Out for Water Lily. Might be wrong, might be Perman. Anywho, they are both very similar. As you... Very, very similar. It's fine, I mean, I love the colour. It's kind of, it's probably going to be... Like, right, this is Water Lily. This is Star Sapphire. That's them next to each other. There is barely a difference. I'd... 
this has got a tiny hint of brown kind of undertone to it um that goes in that one that goes in that one and cross stitch nation is on one of them so i'd have three projects on very similar linen they're all 32 count so maybe, i don't know i don't know what to do and obviously whether it be some choose for me people do i stitch on see gone fridays do i stitch on weather bees and go for a february finish on that or do i stitch cross stitch nation and go do i get a finish i could get a finish if i can give it two if i can give cross stitch if i can give them two both two weeks there's potential for finishes for both of them and that still gives me a week to do the thing that i said that i just showed main street there you go um and and also gives me time to finish the stamp so i should get the stamp finished this weekend um so people you decide do i do main street uh, whether a bees or cross stitch nation um i might even do an instagram i might have to do an instagram poll for this one as well let's see um comment below I'll put photographs in maybe here as well, so you know which ones I'm talking about. Oh, Cross Stitch Nation. It's this one. It's in my foot. I'm not going to go and get and pull it out because I'll trip over the camera tripod. I guarantee it. So it's that one that I'm kind of just doing in my own colourways and variations of whatever. So I've got three and a half people done. Might be four. So and where there are bees, it's pretty much the bottom half. Right. There you go. You decide. What we're at 26 minutes, let's go in for a quick bit of haul. I have, I went and bought one of these bobbin boxes. Um, it's just a Wilco one because you can take out the cross dividers. And at the moment, this is how I'm choosing to store my weeks. And it also does have my classic colour works at the bottom as well. That's right, it's that way up. Um, I'm doing the Lakeside Needle Craft Weeks Club. Um, I'm hoping they'll do a guest one at some point. Um, it's just not going to happen at the moment. Um, I spoke to Kate from Lakeside Needlecraft and she said their gas supply is a bit unreliable. So she doesn't want to kind of start doing it and then end up being out of stock because you start at A. So it's not like she's sending out the same five threads, ten, well, eight threads every month to the same people. But obviously different people are going to be in different places. So um, she needs to make sure she can get the whole full range. So anyway, this is what I'm doing. Um, this is how I'm going to do it. I am going to get some of those, I'm going to call them Diana rings. Um, the little flexi loops, but I'm, you know, let's do that, let's do that and don't get, go, don't get round to it. So, doing that. So speaking of weeks, I got my threads in from Lakeside this month. I must say, I paid the invoice at eight o'clock on the morning. It was literally like minutes after it came and I was like, oh, invoice, I might as well just pay that now. Um, and then it, I had it the next day. Kate's service is fantastic, it really is. Oh, that's on the floor. Um, so I am in the bees. I've got bark, bayberry, love that green. It's very similar to emeralds, but it's really got, it's got some nice variegation in it. Baked apple, loving that kind of, almost kind of brick red kind of colour as well. Beehive, that's just every bit of awesome. We've got begonia, beachcomber, super pretty. That's got quite a lot of different colour variation in. Um, Bermuda. It's funny, I looked at that and as soon as I saw that, I didn't look at the name, just saw that and went, oh, that looks very beachy. So Bermuda's very, very apt name for it. Um, we've got Berry Splash. It's got some lovely, you can't quite see it there, but it's got some lovely dark kind of purple bits in it as well. Um, you know, think raspberry, strawberries, and then maybe, you know, a darker colour berry, you know, whatever, cherry or kind of, anyway, and then there's beige. <coughs> so, lots of lovely bees there, they can go in the box. Um, fabric that Hubby ordered me um, for ink, my ink circles, monkey wrench has come in. However, bless him, he didn't realise he had to change drop down boxes. 
I did put it in my email to him with the links, but didn't tell him to do, alter the drop-down boxes, so it defaulted to 28 count, um, 9 by 13. Not going to be quite big enough, darling. So, but it was a good indication that it was, the fabric was going to work. So this is 28 count cashew linen. Um, this is from Crafty Kitten. I'm having 40 count, um, and I need a big piece because this is... Ah, oh, we're going to leave the silk screw in the bag. So, in my bag from the Marvellous Shirl. So, that's Monkey Wrench. It's ink circles. I love Quaker designs. Um, the fabric is a really, really pale green. Um, oh, let's see if putting it... No, that just looks white. I can't get it to show the colour. It's a really pale green. It's really pretty. But it's going to be perfect for. To be honest, it's quite. It, looking at it now, it's quite similar to what they've stitched it on. But those are going to go. Actually, it's not a bad colour there. And I think it's all going to look perfect on it. So, bless his cotton socks, he's ordered me a bigger piece. And he said, well, you might as well. That'll come in handy for something. And he is not wrong, because it's. Green is my favourite colour, and. I do love stitching on green. So, I'm really happy. So I'm just going to put that in there because it reminds me that that is, yeah, so when will I start that? Who knows? Right, oh, and because I usually get eight weeks from late side, but every kind of four months or something like that, you get an extra one for free, bargain. And I also got this um, DMC Etoile chart, free chart from her, um, which uses them. But the great thing about, I suppose the good thing about the Etoile charts is if you wanted to, you could just stitch it in DMC or maybe just stitch some of the colours as sparkly. So it's just a tree with a little deer at the side, snowy landscape type thing. Very apt for this time of year. I think our snow's gone now. It looks very non-snowy out there, just a bit damp. Um, anywho, right, we're going to... Magazine Quick Flicks. I keep thinking I've shown this one. But it's not. Uh, let me have a look at last week's. What's it? No, I only showed cross stitcher. Uh, crazy. Anywho, world of cross stitch. This is issue two seventy eight. Um, oh, I can't do this today. Okay, so there it is. Your contents page. Let's have a quick flick through. The cover kit was this love one. I quite like that. It's actually a card, but I'm thinking I actually might make quite a nice little framed something with the mount for um, my, what's it? We've got a Lucy Heaton mouse blowing dandelion clocks. Shannon Walsliff, very nice unicorn. Lottie said, I love that. I ignored everything she said because that's just a really nice unicorn, but by the time I finish it, she will have grown out of unicorns. I would put money on it. We've got the usual letters and everything. Um, a Doreen Jones birdhouse. That's quite pretty, very springly. Springly? Let's go with it. It's a word now. Very Doreen Jones too. So. Um... Anything interesting? Nope. Uh, we have got Design My Dog, a Chawini. I'm assuming that's a cross between. Yeah, Chihuahuas and a Dachshund, maybe. Dachshund. Dachshund. There you go. Windows. Um, a GPS su su uh, a surveyor is one of the pictures. Um, what else we got? Oh, spring bulbs designed by Jenny van der Weel. That's quite nice, actually. Yeah. 
I saw some crocuses out um, by the school this week. That was kind of that was nice to see. We've got nursery motifs. I actually thought I had a quick flip through these, and there were some nice ones that were not necessarily completely babyish. So you know, unicorns and. Um, you could easily leave off rhymes and things like that. So, um, yeah, some nice ones here. They've got a perpetual calendar. I'm sorry I'm not filming here again. The lighting's terrible. Um, so all the numbers and everything. Okay. I'm going to go with Walks Your Lazy. They've done, charted all the numbers, but basically they have charted an alphabet and the blank. And you have to chart all your own days, months. Um, that's a bit lazy, I'm sorry. I get you saving space, but an extra two pages you could have shoved, you could have done all the charts. So, and the days of the week. So you end up looking at something like that. But all they've done is charted the background, so you have to do them yourself. Um, I could kind of imagine that putting off a lot of people. Jenny Barton, pirate map. That's really nice. Can't help thinking I've seen that similar design before. That's cool. Yeah. This is really sweet. Fiona Baker. Oh, what hairs. It's kind of very black worky kind of with a bit of colour, lazy, lazy daisies. I really like that. That's really nice. Lazy daisies, sequins, French knots, fractionals. There's an interview with Sew It All. We've got a garden themed alphabet. So we got they're quite small actually these letters too so that's quite nice um classic car with a 1920s coupling maybe 1930s okay it's a vintage Aston, Aston Martin I can't turn the page my hands are cold this morning and that's pretty much it letters um and next month is there we go for next month what we got i i like quite like that post box actually with the dog standing in each other to post a letter that's actually really quite cute um pencil cases table runner quite like the little easter decoration too but i get the feeling it'll be like 47 different colors in each easter egg it's an exaggeration, but about I'm not far off. World of cross stitcher 241, 341. Sorry, there we go. Oh, itchy nose. So let's have a oh, you want to know what the free kit was? I just thought it was on the floor. Sausage dog pin cushion, isn't it cute? So basically, you stitch. Um, I'm gonna do that so you can't see. So you kind of stitch it upside down, one the right way up, one, and I'm assuming then that if you fold it over, that kind of forms the base. Oh no, you don't. You cut them out. I'm sorry. I would be doing that and cheating. Anywho, this month. There we go. That's what's there. We have got we got in there and the chocolates in and um Liberty have done kits based on their fabric. They're actually really quite nice. I like that. We have got uh Stitch People's person this month is Madame Curie. 
got a lovely daffodil. My friend Steph stitching all of those and she is doing a wonderful job with them so they're so, looking so nice. And she's also doing all the people on the calendar too. Um, so hello Steph, I hope you're well. Um, hot chocolate stitch on the back. Chalkboard is still very much in. I did notice that Lakeside were getting in kind of a dark grey charcoal -y coloured fabric so um, that's certainly one to consider. Stitcher lives here, I like that a lot. It's got a house. Uh, who's designed that? Who knows? F.A. Walsh. But to be honest, it looks like it'd be really quick stitch. The house is two colours for the blue, so you could easily get away with stitching in a variegated or something. That's cute. Odd one out. Heritage Crafts. Oh, it's Doreen Jones. I lied about Heritage. Heritage Crafts do a lot like that though, don't they? Mm. I love this. Dragonfly, I don't, it's the, I don't know if it's the colours, just the specialty stitches. I don't know, love that. And then they've got a scissor, matching scissor fob. And it's interesting, quite often the things that end up being in the Savvy Stitcher section are things that I love. Stamp designed by Susan Penny. So just kind of like, yeah, love that. Oh, and you, oh, there you go. And you make the one into a pouch for your scissors and stuff. So really like that a lot. It shows you how to make cord. Mum's chair, pockets, and you can choose what goes on. Um, they've given you um, different options. The full alphabet so you can change it you know, to Emma's chair or Margaret's chair or whatever. And then you get the option for tunes, reading, pens, polish as in like nail polish, stitching, sweets, knitting, mobile, tissues, remote and chocolate. So you can basically customise whichever pockets you would want. Mine would definitely be, well, I think mine would be mobile and, um, mobile and stitching. Don't think I'd put chocolate, probably would melt. I'm known to have a bag of sweets by me as well. Um, a little cute unicorn. I would try and persuade Lottie to do that one. If not, I cannot. It's a very small chart by Maria Diaz. It's like 28 by 28. Not that out in a couple of hours. No back stitching. Um, Cat's Letter Library. That's quite cool. I like it when they kind of do those things and we all know that cats can put themselves into some quite bizarre positions so not completely mm. sweet treats for mum for the Mother's Day cards so I think I said this last time Mother's Day in the UK is in March don't ask me when end of March would have been useful for them to tell us really uh, lots and crosses game so you stitch the bag well, you stitch the grid as part of a bag. It's designed by Emma Congdon. Oh, that's the chart. You get the idea. And then you stitch noughts and crosses tiles and then it forms a bag. Come along, cross stitcher. They put the same advert on two pages in a row. Oh, God. I, like, I, I think this is quite clever. So catty. But what they've done is used cording for the tail for your scissor keep and that's quite a clever little idea designed by Doreen Jones I may have already said that uh, they've got ready steady stitch which is wedding cards this is their challenge to designers so six colours two little roses and some fabric and there's a proper wedding sampler there we go that one nice that you could do it as, oh, that's only part of the wedding sample, I'll go with that one. It's nice that you could just stitch an element from it if you wanted to. A 
and then the stitch along is Snow White. And I've seen a couple of people stitching this on Instagram and it's actually working out really nicely. Um, coming next month, a Venice scene and a stitched box. There we go. So that's cross stitcher. Right then, let's chuck that over there. Oh my word, look at the time. Let's do some giveaways. So winners for so I'm just turning my page over with the winners. Yeah. Okay, uh, so Fizzy Moon, Daphne, this goes to you. I am so glad I didn't send anything from last week. So apologies to Sarah as well. I didn't send I hadn't sent last time stuff yet. So Daphne, the kit that'll be in the post to you at some point this weekend, I hope. Chart book goes to Andrea Martins. Andrea, I've sent I've cop I've commented on your comment. Please, can you send me an email? My email's in the drop-down be box below. And I'll get that out to you. Watering can goes to Mel. Mel Patton. I think I ought to just do some sticky labels for you, Mel. Ready to go. Mel, Mel, Mel. There we go. So that'll be on its way to you. It's a lovely design, though, isn't it? Um, this week. That was one that's from the previous week that's been pulled out by. So... Um, we've got Winter Wonderland charts, Hell's Couple Ditch. There are no, I'm just looking to see whether there's, there's that's four pictures, there's eight charts. Whether there's a set. Expect if I found the magazine it's came out of, there would be a yeah. No, there's no extra pictures of them, so it's those and plus four others. So I'd like to stitch the Winter Wonderland. I've got another uh, spring chart book, so I'd like to stitch the chart book and a bit of Valentine's Day kind of thing here. I'd like to stitch the bunny. So bunny chart book. Oh, let's just call it winter winter wonderland so you know the drill be a subscriber don't mention giveaway be over 18 because of permissions and that's that so oh shift back in my chair i think that's about it for this uh this video words words um please tell me what i should stitch this month so where there are bees or cross stitch nation tell me below i need your input i can't decide i could use the wheel i really could but i kind of don't want to use the wheel because i might have to cheat it and that's not good so you can tell me and then i'll have to stitch it so um tell me below what you think i should stitch nation cross stitch nation or where there are bees and this is going to be the video where where there are bees and cross stitch nation has been said the most ever so have a fantastic fortnight um stay warm stay cool whatever you need to do stay safe most of all um happy stitching friends and see you all soon bye bye thanks for watching my channel thank you for all the lovely comments you leave me for the likes and the subscriptions i really it really does mean a lot and it makes it all worthwhile happy stitching